the Spirit of God, and that the Lord has opened every door of opportunity unto us. And so we give Him praise, we give Him glory, we honor Him for bringing us once again before His presence. Uh, can we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you all the praise. Thank you for bringing us once again before your presence. We have come to minister. We pray that your spirit will take us all control. Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, Father, come and minister to us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Every word that you are listening to us is our prayer that every heart desire, everything that you've been praying about for many years, something that your heart desire, something that belongs to you, and the Lord will open every door unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. People of God, it's not by might, it's not by power. It's by, by the Spirit of God. It's our prayer that every purpose, when you read Proverbs 19 and the verse 21, it says, Many are the devices in a man's heart, but it is only the counsel of the Lord that stands. And so we know that you have many plans, plans that you want to achieve, but it is our prayer that the Spirit of God will help you. And brother, my sister, Jesus said in John 15, in the verse 5, that apart from him, we can do nothing. And so he used the vine, the branches, uh, as an example. I mean, Joseph and Branch and Grant Theodore. I mean, Shirao. Shirao, for always hosting and sharing. In your tea, Jesus used the branch and the vine as an example so that we can know how we have to connect to the Lord Jesus Christ. In life, without Jesus, you can do nothing. In life without Jesus, you can do nothing. And so everywhere that you are listening to us, watching us, it is our prayer that you understand that the only way is Jesus Christ. There is no other way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father but by me. So you've been quite challenging Jesus on Amazon. And so everything that you are doing, understand that without Jesus, the end is death. Hallelujah. Let's sing our song. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood. The blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again nothing but the blood the blood of jesus oh proud as yours is the flow that makes me white as snow no have I found I know nothing but the blood the blood of Jesus what can wash away my sins nothing but the blood the blood of Jesus he said, Oh, precious is the flow 
that makes me white as snow. Oh no, ah, at the fount I know nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. My brother, my sister, Jesus said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And the Bible also says in Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 22 that without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. And so, the Bible says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believed in him be obedient in all no be in your Bible, in your Bible, Mama, Miss Asawaji, yes, wedding. So, for Steve Cranton, Junior, I'm in Shrao. Let me ask you a question. Do you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? Yes, somebody will say, Oh, I believe in Him. Do you believe in His word? Would you not say, Mudi? Rebecca said, Oh, you not say, Mudi. Let me ask you another question. Are you sure? That everything that you are doing in life. Because the word of God says he is coming back. Are you sure? Jesus is coming back. And he has his reward. My brother, my sister. Do you believe? That when Jesus is coming, if Jesus is coming right now, you'll be part of the rapture. Ask yourself, I do God, if God is sitting in his throne, Ask yourself many questions. If not, then you have to do something about it. Jesus is the only way. And he's coming. I pray for you and for myself. That we will be able to prepare ourselves. To wait his coming. Our decisions and the things that we are doing cannot change his coming. And there is a set time. The Bible says he will come like a thief. And when a thief is coming, a thief does not announce his coming. Amen. Yesterday I started preaching and talking about the church with open doors. A church with open doors. Remember we started preaching and talking about the churches. It was Jesus himself. And that wrote a letter. And the letter was written through the Apostle John. When he was bruised and crushed. And was thrown at the island of Patmos. In his pain, in his sorrow, in his grief. Then God, through him, wrote a letter to the churches. Warning the churches. Telling the churches what he, uh, his knowledge about the churches. My brother, my sister. God knows every aspect of your life. Whatever you are doing. The people don't want to know and don't want to hear. Because the Bible says in John chapter 3 and verse 19. The light has come into the world. He says this is the condemnation. The light has come into the world. A man like darkness more than light. And so we have many people who have form of godliness. Because 
It is not how many times you go to a, a church. It is not how long you stay in the church. It is not how long you hold the Bible. It is not how long uh, you give to the church. It is how you have committed, how you have repented, and how your life is given to Christ. Many of many of them are. only Christ why you go far. Within you know you can you you can your spirit can confirm it to you that there is a relationship between you and heaven. That is my prayer for you. Empire bo emma no no. So only Christ why you go far. The baby pay and I shed it in your yam. The way in already yes Christ to demon. Let's go and read the scripture. Reading. Revelations, Revelations chapter 3 and the verse 8 downwards. We started from verse 7, but today we'll dwell on verse 8 and then we'll go to Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 16 and we'll read verse 9 and 10. The church with open doors, a door that has been opened unto you. And there are many people, they don't realize that the door that God has opened unto them, even the life, the health that God has given to you is a door that God has opened unto you. And many people don't realize what God has given unto them, the door that God has opened unto them. My brother, my sister, one thing that happens is that if you don't realize what God has given to you, you cannot protect it. You cannot build on it. Say who ni ma dia nyame dia ma wa obeye den o. Who ni mi say what asase wa obeye den o si dai. Nyame ka o, nyame to mo. Revelation chapter 3. I read from verse 8 going. Verse 7 we read verse 7 already. It says to the angels of the church in Philadelphia rise these things said he that is holy he that is true he that had the keys of David, he that opens and no one can shut, shut and no man can open. And so for every believer, everybody, God has set a, a door before them, door of prosperity, a door of success, a door of increase, a door of, uh, to enlarge. It is God who has set that door to every believer, to everyone. God has set a door before you, a great door. My prayer is that you would understand it. Me by mouth, that you would understand what God has opened unto you. Remember the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 19 verse 11 that for I know the thought I have for you on your messy minimum a journey I'm a journey home and your bonnie some of my way here but Chris when you have to me I'm a team about oh on your minimum I don't know what I think rather my sister God knows the thought he has for you and so he has promise and he will never fail he says, he will make a way where there is no way, even in the wilderness, wilderness where there is no water. The Lord says, he, he will make a way there. And he will, in, within the desert, waters will be, begin to spring forth. Meaning that in your desert life, in your wilderness life, God will surely show up. God knows his own name in the The only thing you need is to build a relationship. God has opened a door unto every believer. The sad aspect of this is that some of the doors that God opens unto us, we don't realize. He told them that I know your works. And this is one thing that many people forget. That the works, everything that we are doing, the Lord knows it. And so Revelation chapter 14 and the verse 13 says, Blessed is he who would die in the Lord. Blessed is he who would die in the Lord. <laughs> For they will rest from their labor and their works will follow them. And so as anybody who died in the Lord, who worshiped the Lord faithfully, after your death, the Bible says you will rest in the Lord. Who are? 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 Who are?
many about many about a man. Obia, you might deny you, and you might deny you. You might, yeah, yeah. It deny you. And so God say, I know your works. Unless, this, it says, I have set before you an open door, an open door. People of God, Christians, people listening to me, the Lord said, I have set before you an open door. And that door, <laughs> oh God, and no man can shut it. For thou had a little strength. Today I will talk about it. I will talk about two things. The strength, your strength. The strength that you need if you want to succeed on this earth. If you want to prosper. If you want to break through. I will say that if you don't break through, you cannot break through. You think everybody is happy with what you are doing? No, not many people are happy for your success. I'm telling you. And so you don't sit down and fold your arms and just wait that manna will fall from heaven. The Lord says, I have opened a door. And that door, no man can shut. No man can shut it. Yes, he says that you have a little strength. I know that you have little strength. But you have kept my word and have not denied my name. There are faithful ones. There are people. And Prophet they they have not. Honestly, they have not denied the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They have kept it. And they continue to hold it until the Lord Jesus comes. My brother continue to hold it. And the Lord Jesus is coming. The Bible says he's coming. And he has his reward in his hand. And no one. Let's go and read 1 Corinthians chapter 16. And I read verse 9 and the verse 10. The church with open doors. The door that God has opened. Procasia, when you may be a more Christian, if you need a beer, when you are on your mere beer, you dear Quayama, when you may be a Cosro Quayama, you can never achieve it until you build a relationship. Many people forget that the Bible says, For we rest not against flesh and blood, we rest not against flesh and blood, against principalities and against powers. Again, the Bible says that though we walk in the flesh, we walk in the flesh, but we do not war against this flesh. Understand it. And so many people, they see success, but they cannot achieve it. They live in the land of opportunity, but they are always broken and hungry. People sit down and talk about say, it's Christianity that is, is destroying Africa. Yes, many people are misusing the gospel. Many pastors, many people are misusing the gospel. They are using it in the wrong way. But yes, the one thing that is causing us greatly is spirit of emptiness and spirit of wickedness. Yes, say you no know. no. You are more when you embrace mom paye. Christ also knew that some nyami ye. I'm a nyami who hungry grab bomb who buy. Every what time for no. You continue to sit down and fold your hands. The time to pray, you won't pray. You want somebody to pray for you. You want your pastor to come and pray for you. You want your pastor to come and pray for you. You want the pastor to come and pray for you. Hallelujah. There are many people that want their pastors to come and pray for them. I want their pastors to come and pray for them. Hallelujah. Forgive me. They want their pastors to come and pray for them. Why? Because they themselves cannot pray. May the Lord have mercy on you. May the Lord God have mercy on you. Also, 
I, I can use the Bluetooth, but I will talk on the phone like this as you listen to me. It's, it's rather unfortunate, but I will do it this way. When the line comes out, then we will change. Hallelujah. What a fault, dear man. Everywhere you are listening to me. The Bible says, First Corinthians chapter 16, the verse 9. In the verse 9 and 10, he says, For a great door and effectual is open unto me, and there are many adversaries. There are many adversaries. Many adversaries. Meaning that there are many who are fighting us. A door has been opened. A great door has been opened. A door of success has been opened. God bless you, your software, God bless you, for it. I'm not going in, my brother. In the ministry of Angeles, God bless you for your good work. Uh, thank you, my brother. God bless you very much. Hallelujah. It says a great door for effect. If effectual is open unto me, but there are many adversaries. Understand this. When Jesus was writing the letter to the church, he says that I have opened the door, and that door, no one can shut it. But come, when you come here, you see that the door that God has opened, there are many people who were fighting the door. Many, many people, many people were fighting the door. And that was what Paul was saying. There are adversaries. And yesterday I started talking about some of the things. <laughs> the first thing I talked about, the door that God opens will never contradict his word. Every door that God opens will never contradict his word. It's the same. You do the the will of God. The sad aspect of life says we have manufactured our own Bible. We have manufactured our own Bible. We want to turn the Bible to suit us. And so we begin to quote scriptures that will favor our sin. And Bonia Yeyano, Nia Shasi, quote scripture. We start quoting the scripture in order to suit the things that we do. Jesus does not know us. Where sin is, you cannot find God. Where sin is, there be a Bonia Yeyano, Umu Yami, or no Grena Mikachano. Some people don't realize. That even life, life, the life that God has given you is an opportunity that God has opened unto you. The work, the job that God has given to you is an open door for your life. Because remember, there are many people who are seeking for jobs and they cannot. The, 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 the home that God has given to you is an open door. Everything that you have in life, you did not achieve it uh, through anything, but it was given and lavished unto you freely. But many people don't realize it. Many people they don't they don't realize it. My prayer, my prayer for somebody, somebody will understand it. Many are tears here. Paul said the great door has been opened unto me. There are there are many adversaries. There are many people who are fighting. There are many Spirits, even aside physically, spiritually, there are forces that will fight you as a Christian. That is why I told you that the Bible says, For we rest not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual forces. And the you could not pray with me and I will pray that you know fall into temptation. Meaning that if somebody become prayerless, if somebody do not pray, troubles will seek. Because the Bible says that we should be vigilant and watchful because our adversary, the devil, is roaming like a lion seeking somebody to devour. Always the devil is on a mission. The devil is on a mission walking and roaming everywhere. You don't call for him. You don't knock for him. But he searched for you and to destroy. The Bible says, for he came to steal and to kill and to destroy. If you have forgotten, let me, let, let me remember, mind you, go back to Job. The Bible says when the children of God gathered, the devil also came and 
he was at when it comes you he said i was walking i was roaming throughout the world and so that devil has been on the mission running to and fro seeking somebody to devour and so if you are Christian, who is Christian? Now the one who is pain, now who quiet and who about Do you don't call for the devil, but he will come because he wants to destroy. Understand it that God's word can never go every door that God's open in life cannot contradict His word. No, well, an open door that the Lord open will require for you to compromise. Compromise or become disobedient in order for you to enter through the door. When you are in me, I was a one casa who so there are many people, their lifestyle and the things that they are doing, it is not of God. May the Lord have mercy. May the Lord begin to open every door unto your life in the name of Jesus. Yes, say amen. I am talking about open door. The second thing that I talked about, that every door that God opens, my brother, accompanied by a confirmation. You understand that this door that God is opening, is confirmed, and you see that it is the Lord. My prayer for somebody, that you will understand that every evening, the call of God over your life is a confirmation. And the last, today what I am going to talk about, that the door that God opens will require you to depend on the Lord. Many of many of them say, when to me I found one, two, this one. When to me I rely on God that in this life, you cannot win this life battle. No crying, I'm catch it all. It takes only people who depend and rest upon the Lord to succeed. If you have forgotten, <laughs> let me remind you. The Bible says, they that are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. The Bible says, when Jesus met the woman at the well, the woman of Samaria, Jesus told the woman that a day is coming and it has come that true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Said, quarry a and no quarry. And so every door, Paul said, a great door has been opened unto me. And there are many adversaries. Many people are fighting. Believe you me, there are some, some people that, that they are wishing that you fail. Some people ask me, be all bizarre pastor, Barney Berma, one and the tribute thing. Here, no prophobia, was a Barney Berma, one and the tribute thing. And I ask them, what do they think? What do you think? I just want to listen to their answers. And if that person is, is a female, uh, his answer, her answer would depend on how a man uh, has treated her, how a man has treated her. And so, oh, he, uh, she will say that, oh, men are, are, are wicked, men are this, men are this, because of what a man has done to her. When you ask a man, uh, the same thing a man will say. His answer will also depend on how a, a, a woman has treated him. But to me, me dey obi say me say o ba ni berima when the dream we dey am make catch your planes said the dream we dey ni obi a boni and a bon say me ura no. What a woman, what a man. If the devil enter that person, that person that he do nothing by himself. Oi, do you hear me now? What in a warning? Do you hear me now? What in a warning? You do not do anything, but or the bon sama what in here move at you. No one in the one of us who may already. 
Behold, man, God has blessed you with a husband. God has blessed you with a wife. Because you have that, you, 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 you think that life has ended. Then you fold your arms and sleep. Some people even don't want to pray. <laughs> So, what do you want when you see people whose marriages have been divorced? You think that it is far from you. <laughs> you don't protect. Men shall see a Because these things <laughs> is caused by the devil. Every door that, that the Lord's open. And put beer when you have beer, my Christian, beer, bon samenichini. Bon samenichini. Because in the botayan is over here, no one come no one say. You have to depend on God. Matthew chapter 6 and the verse 33 tells us that we should seek he, the kingdom of God and hate righteousness and everything will be added unto us. And that is what the Bible says, that we should seek, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added unto us. My brother, my sister, seeking the Lord is depending on God. Seeking the Lord is depending on God. Depending totally. And so every door that God opens, you have to depend on God. Because your strength, you don't have the might, you don't have the power to achieve it, except the grace of God. Remember Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel wanted to build the church of God. Zerubbabel tried everything. A door has been opened, but there were many adversaries. A door, a, a church with an open doors. God says, what every door that I open, no man can shut. But what we forgot that God said that this church was a, a church that have little strength, but they have kept his name. They have not, did not deny the name. They were faithful to the name. They were faithful to the name. Christo near would tell me, Mamma, so because we didn't quarry, and we were ready, Mua, but we were ready, and you, Yam. You will be faithful. Continue. Then you see the glory of God. For the scriptures that you are writing for us on the Facebook, God bless you, man of God. God bless you, man of God, for everything that you are doing in the kingdom. What of what, dear me? Young call, let's go and look at Nehemiah. I started talking about a man who won. This man was in slavery. Look at the opportunities that God has given to you. How are you making these opportunities? Look at the doors that God has opened unto you. We always complain. You sit down and complain. Oh, there are there were people in the Bible. There were people in the corner that they were. Nothing could allow them to even succeed. They were far from success. But yes, still. The secret to their life was knowing the Lord. The secret to their success. Woman him there, woman die in no one in A man like Nehemiah was a slave. When he was a slave, no one was sumo. Remember, when you read the Bible, go and read Psalm 137. The Israelites said, By the rivers of Babylon, where we sat down and cried. And those who have captured us asked us to sing the Lord's songs. He said we could not sing the Lord's song. How can we sing the Lord's song when we, 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 we were in captivity, when we were dying? The Israelites, the, the, the people who have captured them, they are slave masters, asked them to sing a song. Because we could them no 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 But out of this, some people came out successful for why they depended on God. There is a song that we sing. It says, we depend on you. Holy Spirit, we have no power of our own. No, we have no, no power of our own. Ah, oh, we have no power of our own. But we depend on you. Holy Spirit. Uh, we have no 
power of our own. He was a slave. And aside being a slave, he was a cupbearer in the king's palace. Oh, you be a no crow, and then crew our shells, and then show more, and then. And so, you see, sir, there was no way this man has any chance to succeed. Look at how free you are. You have every opportunity to read your Bible, go to church, and do everything that you, 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 you want to do. But yes, still, you cannot achieve it because of your commitment, because you are not ready to forego some of the things in the world. You are not ready. You have to manufacture. You want to manufacture your own Bible. If you don't let it go, you will never see the glory of God. Bible say, say, How can you see the glory of God? Yes, the door has been opened, but it, the door will shut by itself. The Lord is not closer. To, uh, there are some people through other means. So, Nehemiah was a cupbearer. And he was in the king's palace. Then somebody visited Nehemiah with a st sad story. The Bible says when the, <coughs> the person came, Hanania, he came and Nehemiah asked him, he asked him about the remnant, people who have left in Israel, Jerusalem, and how they were doing. And the story or the message that he delivered to Nehemiah caused Nehemiah to grieve, sat down. The Bible says he wept, but the good thing that Nehemiah did was that he sought the face of the Lord. Nehemiah sought the face of the Lord. Nihau between Nihau and in and in Kunim Dino Na Ayam Pibo and Ayonkufa only me Ayonkufa Tia me yeah dim when you go into the Bible look into the Bible from Genesis to Revelation everybody that won or succeeded between their pain, between their problems, between where the enemy attacked them and where their success came was prayer and, and, and the life connected to the Lord. There were men and women that have faith and they were faithful. No me and And so for every door that God's open for you, my brother, my sister, if you want to see a breakthrough, there should be one commitment, two, there should be faithfulness. The summer says that there is no other way but to trust and obey. If you don't want to be obedient, you will never see the glory of God. The Bible says, say, let, me, let me read it. It says, and that Hananiah, one of my brethren, came, he and a certain man of Judah, and I asked them concerning Jerusalem that had escaped, which were left in the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. And so they, they gave him the report. But let me come to verse, verse 4. I'm reading from Nehemiah, verse 4. He said, And it came to pass when he heard this, that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days, fasted and prayed before God of heaven. He fasted and prayed before God of heaven. Why have you fasted? Why have you fasted many days? But yesterday you don't see the glory of God. My brother, my sister, listen. You have to you have to pave a way. Remember the Bible says since we are surrounded by great cloud of witness. Hey, I don't see you. So he says, since we are surrounded by great cloud of witness, let's as lay aside every weight. Let 
and to be on my one tears, yes, and you be on my yet Christian in his hobo. Who captain any one woof? Can no one woof? Can no one woof? Many on my dear. And you man Cassana, I be an enya bonio, Nazuni, and my woman yamet da. No brenna make a chill. And my woman yamet. Because the more you sing that song and play that song, you see, the spirit of God dwells where the, where where there is a relationship. When you a tip name, a demra will be a because you don't have an atmosphere of worship around you. Nanu so me catch say here ko here ko here ko picnic be. Christopher picnic, I saw the here picnic. When we went there, the songs that they were playing, the things that they were doing, I asked them, I asked the man of God, that can you play this song in the church premises? No, we did not want to be in Casa. And we said, we'll be our own, not you, and he will be do at them. But God bless you, man of God. There are many people, they will insult you, they will insult you, but listen. Many a tear, and not in a yammy man, you know, who the Obetimia Cadiope, Yammy Uno, Yammy, and you, Yamda. I thought that you be at times you be in your your, your uh, problem, you call on Jehovah, and Jehovah may be not be near unto you. Why ask yourself, David? David was, uh, uh, was a, when you look at David, he was a son of a prostitute, but yesterday. Psalm 89 and verse 20. The Lord said, I have found David with my holy oil. Have I anointed him? It was God who found him because David never come up here. Rate yes, sir. And found only your funeral. Whoa, no, no, so not the piano. David bear rate. It did not rate bear. No, such a lot of you in near my view on my Bible. More your body says, and it came to pass. God bless you, man of God. For you up. Other four, Christian, I would tell me. Tell me. If you want to succeed, no person, you to move. Yeah, go and read Joshua. When Joshua took over from Moses, God showed Joshua the secret to life, the secret to success, the secret to prosper. He told him, Joshua, listen, if you want to succeed, the land that you are going. This word that I have given unto you, don't let this word depart from you. You just meditate upon it day and night. <laughs> and every time, just meditate upon it and do according to what is written in the word. When you do that, ah, in that line, you will succeed. He will succeed. What free? What to cry? Now we have Bible for. Look at how many times you were in the prayer camps. Look at how many times you were praying. But yesterday you have traveled and God has opened a door for, for you and you have traveled. You came here. You don't have time to pray. You don't have time to go before God. Don't you think that every door that God has opened unto you, the devil will shut that door. Your life will shut that door because God will be far from you. The Lord will be far from you. My prayer is that somebody understand it. My prayer for you that you all understand it. That he has God say he has opened a door and that door no man can shut it. But remember there are many adversaries. The only way that you can shut that door is your life. When sin enter, the Lord depart. The strength of God will depart until you become faithful. The church of Philadelphia, the Bible said they had little strength, but they were faithful unto the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nehemiah fasted and prayed. Immediately you invite God. You see, one thing that Nehemiah did, let's also consider this. We want to consider this. Nehemiah began to ask. He immediately he began to ask. He began to ask for forgiveness of sin. Obisa says, Obisa, one born if because the Hemian knows that God will never dwell where sin is. And the idea of the Hemian, yeah, yeah, let's watch as he has a word, bomb, pies, and ready. Oh, dear, let's go. Verse 5, let me read verse 5 down where it says, And said, I beseech thee, O Lord God of heaven, the great and, and terrible God, that keeps covenant and mercy for them that love him, and observe his command. Let thy ears be attentive, and thy eyes be open. 
that thou may hear the prayers of thy servant, which I pray to thee now, the day and night. Let me go back and read. Read, read verse 8. He says, Remember, I beseech thee the word that thou commanded thy servant Moses, saying, If you transgress, I will scatter thee abroad among nations. And, and listen to this. This is what Nehemiah said. Nehemiah was asking God and telling God that, God, remember your word, Erade Kaiwasem. One now Kai said, Kachiri Moses said, One Kachiri Israel phone said, So we are born in the midst of them, or two appetite. When you mean Nankasa or Katri Israel for what you won't come on or Bosch assassin, the same God told them, if you sin, I will scatter you within the wilderness. And so God, a dear Mako, Yami and Chi, a bonnet. The men, you Christian, and then Trawano, and Trawano and Katri said that the gift of God is not revocable. And don't be a pastor, a man of God, an elder, a deacon, a member, and says that the gift of God is not revocable. And so you sit in your cell, who told you? The Bible says we can grip the Holy Spirit and we can quench the Holy Spirit. The one thing that Nehemiah asked was forgiveness of sin. He said, but you have turned unto us, keeping command. And so he continued to pray that God forgive our sins. When you, when, when you continue to read, you see, sir, one thing that Nehemiah did was to ask for forgiveness. I am talking about the church with an open doors where God has promised that He will open a door unto us. When Yamia Shaye Bosu will be a Procassia, my when Yamia Shabosa will be a Procassia, though your strength is little, but the only thing, the only difference was keeping on holding and being faithful to the Lord. When you are within the quarry, you see the glory of God. If you become faithful unto the Lord, the Lord will never forsake you. The Lord, he says, seek the Lord where he will be found and call upon him while he is near. And so if you don't make a way where God will be nearer to you, how can you call on him? How can you call on him? May the Lord have mercy on us. May the Lord have mercy on us. The Bible says that after Nehemiah prayed one day, you see, when you pray, God begins to open the door. Prayer opens the door. And name in so will be promano. Every door that has been shut in your life, may the Lord begin to open it in the name of Jesus Christ. May the power of God, the strength of Jehovah, enter your situation and begin to open and bring things to pass in your life in the name of Jesus. If you are going to hold on, if you are going to be faithful, my brother, my sister, you will win this life. You will win this life. Let's see. The Bible says, Nehemiah was there. And he, after he prayed, in that month, the king came. He was sitting down. Then the king came to uh, the house where Nehemiah was sitting. Then saw that his countenance has changed. God will bring people. God will bring people into your life. God will place destiny helpers into your life to come and help you. Even when your strength is up. Uh, God will arrange, he will open the door. Every door, let every door be open. Let every gate be open. And the king of glory will pass in. The Bible says, who is the king of glory? The Lord mightier in battle. He is mighty. He great I am. He told Moses to tell the Israelites, when you go tell them that I am the I am, I have sent you. If you believe he is healer, he will heal you. If you believe he is a, a deliverer, he will deliver you. God, that is his name. But it takes, it takes being faithful unto the Lord. My brother, my sister, people who won, people who succeeded in life, in the Bible, they were all men and women that were faithful to the Lord. And so Jesus said to the church of Philadelphia that you, I know that you have little strength, but one thing I, I like that you have never denied my name. You have hold on to my name. And for that matter, that door that has been set before you, nobody can shut it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bible said the king came 
was healing a boy. The king himself came and gave every help that Nehemiah wanted. Nehemiah wanted. Why? Because Nehemiah has fasted and has called the presence of God into it. Again, remember that every door that God opens, you have to depend on God. No matter the strength that you have, and for some people, everything that they are praying about, you see impossibility. <laughs> Around you, everything shows and speaks that it is not going to be possible. But my brother, my sister, when you read, when you read Mark, read Mark chapter 11, he says that what is impossible before God is possible before God. Uh, impossible before man is possible before God. Again, Mark 9, verse 23 says, If we have a faith, if you have faith like a, a seed of monster, if you have faith like a seed of monster, you will tell mountains to move and they will move. Read Hebrews chapter 1. He says, Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, substance of things hoped for, and the evidence. Evidence, evidence. And so it is faith that will bring it to pass. It is faith, though you don't see it, though things are difficult. Bible says he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By through faith, many elders receive good report. How can a woman of 90 years, a woman who have grown like Sarah, give birth? Through faith. The Bible says, when the, the angel of the Lord announced the birth of Isaac to Abraham and Sarah had, Sarah within herself began to laugh because she saw impossibility. And when you read James, uh, James say, everyone that doubt, that have a double mind, let that person not expect that he will receive anything from the Lord. Begin to have faith in the Lord. Begin to stand. Say to yourself that you succeed in that land, in that country, in that place. When you see victory, victory will come. When you begin to see victory, victory will come. When you are in Kahunu, you are in Dumo, you are in Mankunim, dear, you are in Yeramu, and we are in Radi Yesu Christu Dim. May the Lord give you victory. Uno in Kunim Dio, now Uno in Kunim Dia, in Kunim Dia Betuau. A door, a great door has been opened unto me, and there are many adversaries. <laughs> I know him from Ghana. We are we're in the same church. We came to America. Yet one man we can hear me as much as we baby. And then after I finish, you know, me imagine I say, me the me prayer by now, my man. I was inviting that lady to come. I catch the run. I say, man, come, man, you know, man, man, man. Oko uji or the beti aswara man ye. And the person did one kawo mechi o kawo manim. Manim on poli na mechi. I was I was just looking at his face. I was surprised. Many of my men you are doing this we are the pro. We are doing. 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 We are where you see enemies fighting is the, in the boxing ring or wrestling ring. That is where they want to win. Or the football court. Because <laughs> One thing that the couples began to do instead of holding hands and calling on Jehovah and doing what God has called them, they relax. 
ti wonu ma ngopu se o hawni amani e beba wonso asa no wa bompa ye yesu ka kira mo atimi ni ma mompa ye do hipo mo mompa ye na mo ngon so hwe obi ho man so hwe ba asa no wa kunu urade ha ba asa no wa kunu urade de bia me ka kira wan hwe ni ye do be ko wo wan hwe ni ye mo wani amre kristo ni ye do be ko wo ma me e do be ko wo nya mi ehu mo bro do so but god has given us every opportunity he said o si ye si bon samu kwai no be gani e free yo that is what the Bible says. That we should resist the devil and you flee from us. God bless you as a fool. Resist the devil and you flee from us. He says, So faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. Also, for governor, for Romans chapter 10 and the verse 17. And also, oh dear God, so people that are watching on the Facebook, he says, Faith cometh by hearing. And hearing the word of God, thank you. In your Bible, in your Bible, ma, in your Mia, sir, in your Quran, in the two Jidim, Nehemia know the secret to life. Esther and Mordecai, they knew the secret to life. Go and ask Zerubbabel. Go and ask Jehoshaphat. Ask Hezekiah. When you go into the Bible, you see that all these people, Daniel, Shadrach, Beshak, and Abednego, these people know the secret to life. They know is holding on to the Lord and becoming faithful. You definitely win. Let them tag you. Let them say everything. Because when you have heaven on your side, who can be against you? Romans said it. If God be on our side, who can be against it? As that is why John also said, greater is he that is in us than the one that is in the world. What you need is becoming faithful. Then you can't remember that. The year born, no. By what I can. You see, near maybe you are born. The year born, to who free born, no. You don't, you cannot give it any excuse for sin. You cannot give any excuse for sin and break through. No, grand, no, make a chill. Do you Christ on you shall see a dear true? A dear woman crowds who found you and what can it just a motto, but oh, unimon, so unimon, unimon, who see unimon. So what they are saying, unimon, who see unimon. And there are many things that are going on. You will never see the glory of God, my brother, my sister. You will never see the glory of God. Where sin is, God is not a place where sin is. No crowd of a catcher. They won battles, they won victories because they had a relationship. They had a relationship. But let's see, after Nehemiah had everything, this is where we are coming. Where Paul said that a great door has been opened unto me, but there are many adversaries. Minya, share. <laughs> Every day I tell you, when you were coming to America, when you were coming to Europe, wherever you are, wherever you are listening to us, whether on the radio, whether maybe Australia, wherever you are listening, China, wherever you are listening to us, on the radio, on the Facebook, when you took your back from Ghana, immediately you took your back. The people that you did not tell them that you were traveling to overseas, they are angry and furious. The people who cross who who fall back and who catch it one catch it one more who be a who think right ya who free go to Babi and Ani Manaya and a airport straight in a coin be cry me cause who free go to Sana Babi oh coin me go to Masia but me come cry but ah pa oh but they are now abruptly there are some people they are angry and furious the second people who are angry and furious and don't like are the people who think that so long as you have traveled you have succeeded and you are prospering more than them. Do on my what you say? Ah, I went to hear my mother to you. Obey your job and come into the family. Your aunt, your uncles uh, that uh, are also back home, thinking that you, that you are travel. Your mother's children, your father's children are going to succeed more than them. And the and the brain that John was saying that was Christ when you were trusting a bombay assume your mother. No, I'm not born that one. Man, I'm the name of him. One who takes a man about us to remember. Minya, who the name of bombay that now? There are many adversaries. See, the Bible says that when Nehemiah, the, the Lord through the king gave Nehemiah everything, there were people there that were waiting to mock him. The Bible says, when Samalat, I'm reading from Nehemiah chapter 2 and the verse 19, it says, but when Samalat, <laughs> the, the Haronites, 
And Tobiah, the servant of the Ammonites, the Geshon Arab, heard it. They laughed us to scorn. And they despair us and said, What is this thing that they, he do? Will you rebel against the king? See? That is where Paul was saying, A great door has been opened unto me, but there are many adversaries. My brother, my sister, don't sit down and fold your arms. Don't sit down and think in the manner of fall. One shed ye or how be ba man ye ba sala wani ba ba wonso na wa sori ego na wa 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 ego na wo fear say because there are many people who are fighting. They want you. They want you to be disgraced. They want you. They say that Toby and Samalat when they heard it, they begin to laugh. They begin to to laugh. Why? Because they know that they, 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 they all they wanted that Jerusalem would lie in vain. The old painter said to Jerusalem, they say, Now, first you're not doing it. Now, I say, you know, you're not here. Oh, no, Baba, yeah. I know a woman, a woman in Virginia, in Virginia, I know a woman in Virginia who traveled to Ghana. He went to Ghana. Well, immediately he got to Ghana, he saw that the family house, the family house where the, the, the mothers, uh, uh, mothers and everybody, uh, the, the mothers, brothers and sisters were living, the, the, the family house was ruined. Rain down and, and they don't have any place to sleep. Woman never be that a busy of one in the bit a busy of feeling in a say. And this woman said, Ah, that's why that my mother is not living there. I will not stand for this family. I will build it. I'll build the family home so that somebody will, will have a place and will call you in a busy of you watch a train or did on one is a see a busy of you. If you hear the bonnie away, I don't know the bonnie away, I don't know. <laughs> the problem is a bad son of a man who is not by one go here. No problem, I'm catching up. The old man was sorry. Now we're saying, "Oh, just help us, help us." Catching up, we're saying, "Oh, why? Oh, why? You ain't pay for all you're saying. You are calling our busy, and you be cool." This woman suffered and suffered and suffered and suffered. The prayer was lifted. My brother, my sister, despite that you are doing good things, despite that the Lord has ordered you to do something, does not mean that everybody is happy with your life. Obi, 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 My brother began to pray. Tobia and Sambalat, they were there. And when you read the Bible, how they fought against them. They tried as much as possible to bring them down. I am talking about the church with open doors. The Lord has opened a door unto everybody. My brother, every opportunity you have in life is an open door. <laughs> but for the door to continue to be open, stand, it depends on you. It depends on how you're going to depend on the Lord. <laughs> how you're going to allow a quiet of a fast woman, Yamia, who may do a new guy. I go see, sir, when Yamina and Cassava Bombay. Remember, David said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. <laughs> because when the Lord shepherd you, nobody. Yamia Bambufua will be an enemy. And so when you read Psalm 20, he said that the God of Jacob is my defense. When you come to verses, he says, Some trust in charros, some trust in horses, but we shall trust in the name of the Lord because he was given a name, and at the mention of that name, every knee bow. That is why some uh, 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 Proverbs chapter 18 and the verse 10 says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run into, and they are safe. Uh, abide under him, abide in him, abide in the Lord. And some say, abide under his anointing. Abide under the anointing of the Lord. And you will never be defeated. Moses saw it and told the Lord, the Lord, you have chosen me. I have had favor before you. But if you don't go with me, if your presence don't go with us, we will never go. And the Lord said, I will go with you. Many people are not happy. <laughs> happy with your success. He says that a great door has been opened. There are many adversaries. Let me read. Nehemiah 4, so that we can end over here. We'll talk about the strength next time. He says, but it came to pass that when Samba Lat heard that we built the wall, he was wrath and took great indignation and mocked the Jews. 
<laughs> Nehemiah and his people went, they were building the wall. <laughs> they were, were making a way. They were putting the city together. They're trying to build the city. Uh -uh. Not everybody was happy. Uh, not everybody was happy. God bless you, man of God. Say, I know your works. Uh, behold, I have set before you an open door, and the door no man can shut. God bless you, so for the prokasebi is siwanim. Many a bar, many a barama. Who nya me pia prama? All you need to do is just to rest in the Lord. The Bible says when the Israelites, when they go to the Red Sea, all that God told Moses to tell them that they should rest in him. They should stand still in the Lord. And when they stand still in the Lord, they will see the salvation of the Lord. But when they did that, the Bible said they walked barefooted in a sea that was parted into two. God always want to prove himself. When God is saying something God wants to promise, and then he will tell you that they may know that I am the Lord. That they may know that I am the Lord. That they may know that I am the Lord. Because anytime God wants to prove himself for the world to know that he is the Lord. But where is the wise? Where is the wise? Where are people who are going to be faithful and committed to, to the word? Say, if you love me, keep my command. Someone told me I did my shed, yes, son, worker. When you want to listen to you, when you have me, I shed, yes, son, mommy. When you come to me, I shed, you can't make a shed. Every day I continue to tell you, and I will tell you, there is no magic in the kingdom of God. There is no magic. There is no magic. There is no magic. And the one thing you have to do is to say, I'm not going to be a good person. I'm not going to be a good But for your purpose, the thinking, so be who are now here. And you are so full of mom, pay your man, do you have to say, I'm not going to be a good person. I'm not going <laughs> As a man of God, <laughs> Abraham can be, David can be, <laughs> telling them that um, they, their money should perish. Abraham can be, David can be, and Sika, your money cannot buy anything from the Lord. Your money, and so don't, don't cheap in yourself, thinking, say, me go him, Sika, go back for it, and me be wounded. By the time you realize they, they have taken the money. Yesterday I told you that the man of God came within the program and the man told them to write their problems, write your problems, and put the seed in an envelope. And, and they put the seed in the envelope. Not one, not two. I have seen them doing that every day. They don't pray over even the seed. All they need is uh, the, 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 the problem. All they need is the money. They will hear Jessica. Then they take it away. And, 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 and the children of God continue to suffer. Why? Because an entire Christian is very messy. They cannot go on their knees and pray. There is no magic in the kingdom. Magic in the it is principle keeping the word of God. Do what God has commanded you. If God tells you that I shall not sin, if you don't sin, automatically heaven is there. Automatically heaven is there to open unto you. Everything will come. I did not write it. It is in the Bible. So seeking the kingdom of God and its righteousness and everything will be added. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 28, it shall come to pass when you hearken unto my word and become obedient. And these blessings will come upon you and overtake you. God is always ready and he wants to bless. Somebody and Tobiah was there. When you read Nehemiah 4, you see, he said, now Tobiah, the Amara was by himself. And he said, even that which they built, if false go up, he shall even break down the stone wall. Then this is where Nehemiah began to pray. And so Samarat and Tobiah and these men gathered up that they will find every means for them to fail. But they continued to pray. They continued to hold on. They continued to do what they were supposed to do. The Bible says the Lord gave them a victory. Let me read from verse Verse 9, he said, Nevertheless, we made our prayer unto God and set a watch against them day and night because of them. And Judah said, The strength of the bearers 
of the burden is decay and there is no much rubbish so that we are not able to build the wall and our adversary said they shall not know neither see till we come in the midst among them and they slain them and cause work to cease their enemies were fighting but when you read down you see that no matter what they did because they were all going before God and doing what God was them to do Nehemiah was able to build the wall Nehemiah was able to build the wall my brother my sister listen to every human being to everyone created in the image of God a door has been opened set before you open unto you an opportunity to succeed in this world God has opened every door unto you but it depends on you <laughs> so you don't sit down for them to get you. Be be a bush and say, be a warrior say, be fear say. They will force that marriage to destroy. Oh, you are not a son of one. No, I'm a catcher. So you didn't subay no. Who couldn't subay no? Who told you? Be one on a bomb fire. Now we will never die in any of them. You mean come home? I mean, no, we want to end here so that we can pray. When God opens the door, God willing, Monday we will come back and we will come and share. God bless you, everyone. In the name of Jesus, we will not end our message without opening a door unto you, giving you an altar call. Maybe you want to accept Christ as your personal savior. This is an opportune time. My brother, my sister, the Bible says, as the man of God wrote for us, and that with the heart we do believe and with the mouth we confess hallelujah never the less we made our prayers unto god and set our watch against them day and night because of them and then judah said the strength of the bearers burden is the cake god bless you Papa. god bless you for writing for us Oh, yeah. I thank God for your life. And I'm so long. I'm a new one. A new ministry. It was wonderful. I thank you, man of God. God bless you. God bless you. My brother, my sister, if you have not far accepted Christ as your personal savior, I want you to say this after me. Maybe you are listening to us everywhere. Again, remember Jesus is coming. There is no other way. There is no other way. There is no that way Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. <laughs> I always tell people that there is a saying that if you don't know where you are going, every way can take you there. <laughs> but in the Lord, there is not that is different. There is only one way, and Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to me but by my Father. Uh, by, by, uh, it says, No one comes to me. <laughs> so uh, Jesus is the way. No, you cannot go. He say he's the way, the truth, and the life. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And so it's only Jesus. You talk about other religion. And the other religion, there are some people they would die in their sins because of where they were born and because of the religion that they are in. But you have had the privilege to become a Christian. The Lord has set an open door for you. May the Lord begin to open every the door. In the name of Jesus Christ, say this after me. And say, as many as receive him, them that believe in his name, to them gave power to become the children of God. Today, I, then you mention your name. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Father, your word says that if anybody be in you, he's a new creature. All things are past and everything has become new. As I have accepted you today, pray that your spirit will go before me. Guide me and teach me. Order my steps until you come or call me from this earth. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody who said this, I entreat you and encourage you find a church. Find a church. A church where you hear salvation message. A church where you'll be told to leave your sin. 
The word they will tell you, leave your sin because you cannot find God where sin is. You read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. You, you will not find God where sin is. Wherever sin is, you cannot find God. And so you cannot live. And the next church that we are going to talk about, and what God told them, that is the church of Lodicea, and what God told them is that they were lukewarm. There is no in-between whether you are hot or you are cold. And so there is no in-between in the Lord. All you need to do is to stand firm. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you. May the Lord open every door unto you. We are going to enter into the time of prayer. We have, want to pray for some time. We have a bomb by Ekakra. Maybe I will be. I just begin to thank the Lord. Bless the Lord. Just open your mouth and let's bless the Lord. Thank the Lord. Begin to thank the Lord. Bless the name of Jehovah. Everywhere God bless you, man of God. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. And it, God bless you. He says, verse 1 John chapter 1 and the verse 8, he says that if we say we, that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. Verse now he says, and if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us all our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And if we say that we have no sin, we make him a lie. And uh, we make him a lie. And his word no, is not in us. God bless you. My brother, my sister, God bless you. Also for for posting these scriptures on the Facebook for our, our listeners. God bless you and open every door. My brother, my sister, we are going to enter into a time of prayer. The Bible says the word of God do not come in vain. It comes to a fulfill a purpose. And so everywhere that you are, you are going to thank the Lord. Begin to thank the Lord. Just bless the name of our Lord. Bless the name of our Lord. In the name of Jesus. Begin to thank the Lord. Begin to bless the Lord. Begin to thank Him. Just thank Him everywhere. Open your mouth and thank Him. Thank the Lord. Bless the name of Jehovah. Bless the name of Jehovah. Somebody thank the Lord. Just thank Him. Bless Him. Bless the name of Jehovah. Thank Him. The Bible says, For His word will not come in vain. It comes to accomplish a purpose. And for purpose for which the Lord sent this message into your life, into your destiny. The Lord wants to be, He wants you to be watchful. He has opened a door unto you, a door of success, a door of prosperity. Many people, doors have been opened into their lives, but they are not watching. They are not watching. Instead of praying, they are sleeping. Instead of standing up, they are sitting. I pray that somebody will be awake in the name of Jesus. Thank the Lord. Bless the name of Jehovah. Bless the name. Begin to thank Him. Bless the name of Jehovah. Jehovah, just thank the Lord. Just bless the name of Jehovah. Thank Him for His word. Be one on a dance. Thank the Lord. Bless the name of Jehovah. Rakata tabrunda se kantara bonda briana ma. Riba bonda braka tu dona bonda bra. E kantara bonda branda. E kamba ye kanduru anda bandere ma. Somebody thank the Lord everywhere you are. Bless the name of Jehovah. Bless Him. Bless Him. Give Him praise. Give Him glory. Ma todo bo kabra kasa dere me ne briana ma. Riba bonda bra katoro bonda bra na zendere me. Riba bon katara bandi riba. Ina na imo Jesus. Ina na imo Jesus. Ina na imo Jesus. Mama dere bo she kabra si dere me. I katoro bonda bra na. Ina na imo Jesus. People of God, we are praying. There are many people. Great doors have been set before them, but the adversary don't want you to succeed. There are many people who are fighting. Today we are praying. Ya bomba ye. Everybody that have ha, ha, is standing between you and your success. Everyone that have purpose within their heart that until you fail, until you lose this battle of life, there are some people they are praying, they are, they are die hard and want you to fail in that marriage. They want you to fail in America, <laughs> in you, wherever you are. They have determined that you, you will fail. But let God arise. 
Today we are going to pray here, Bompaye. Let your God arise wherever they are. There's tender, the earthquake that visited Paul and Silas in their prison. We are going to command it into their camps, into their, let their plans, let their counsel be foolishness before God. We are breaking them. We are scattering them wherever they are. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. We are praying. We are praying. Every gathering, the Bible says they will gather, but the Lord says it is not of me because whoever gather against you will fall for your sake. And so you are praying into the accounts everywhere. Somebody have gathered everywhere. Somebody is who is praying for your downfall, who is praying that you fail this life, that you fail in this marriage, that you fail in this. Life, ah, uh, let God arise, let Jehovah be a one upon Payo, or be a rabbit, be a rabbit, or be a share, or pay or say, yeah, one person because yes, so much young come anymore, yes, so much young come anymore. Oh, be your mother, pray, pray in the name of Jesus, my brother, focus, my sister, focus, and they want you to fail. You can see prosperity, you can see success. Yes, you are living in a land of opportunity, but uh, here yeah, still, you cannot achieve anything. Uh, you see greatness, but greatness. Is not coming. Let Jehovah arise. Everyone that is praying for your downfall, everyone that is seeking for your failure, let tender look at them. Let fire look at them. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Rakante de banda branda zenderebe. Rika toto branda. Oh yes, Christo dima. Yes, Christo dima. Every gathering against your life. Every gathering against your children. Every gathering against your work. Every gathering against your marriage. Every gathering against your parents, every gathering against your green card, every gathering against your success. Let fire, let the tender of Jehovah, my brother, pray. We are praying, we are praying. Every gathering that wants you to fail, every gathering that wants you to see happiness, every gathering that won't, don't want you to see smile, may fire look at them, may their cancer. Fire, 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 Holy Ghost, fire, release fire. Fire. Release fire into their gathering. We release fire, Holy Ghost fire, into every gathering of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, somebody we are praying. Release it, release it, release it, release it. Every gathering that wants you to film, Sambala and Tobia, they were mocking them. They were that against them, but yesterday they prayed. Let every counsel of the enemy, Marco Toto Bonda Braca, Yekala Branda, Riba Ponta Branda, Zenderebe, Abo Kataka and Dereba. Somebody pray with us, be one on our name, Bompay, and we're Yesu Christo Timo, and we're Yesu Christo Mojama, and we're Yesu Christo Timo, and we're Yesu Christo Mojama. Out of what Bompay, my brother, pray, pray, pray. You don't have to fail this life, you don't have to fail in Europe. You don't have to fail in the Americas. You don't have to fail in the Asians. You don't have to fail in Africa, any part. Ah, for he knows the thought he has for you. And so those who are standing up against you, those who want you to fail, my brother, we are praying. Pray against every Sambalat and Tobia in your life. Everyone that is against your success. Let fire look at them. Let tender look at them. We are praying. My brother, you don't deserve to fail this life. Woman, you don't deserve to fail this life. You have to win by force. The Lord has promised, and He will never fail. The Lord has said it, and will He not do it? Continue to pray. We are praying against those that wage war against us. Paul said, Many doors, a door of opportunity has been opened. Many adversaries, those adversaries against your life, those fighting against your life, ah, let them see success. May the Lord lay the table before them in your presence. Rabba Baba, and of all Pompeye, be one on a young Pompeye, will be our Pell Saye, will be our Pell Pell Cosua, will be our Pesuba Wunsa Wusre, yes, so much young Kaum Anima, 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 release prayer into the account, release it into your mother's family, release it into your father's family, release it into the church, release it into your workplace, release it everywhere, let your prayer enter everywhere, every day demonic adversary. Somebody that wants you to cry. Somebody that wants you to walk in pain. May fire locate them. Yes, so much young come anymore. Yes, so much young come anymore. People who are fighting against our ministry. People wherever they are. Lord, I come
command fire. Lord, I command tender. May the hands be nothing. It can do the bond of rakata. Rante de banda rabonda da brakasa nderebe. Ado fo pompa ye. Ado fo pompa ye. Wo bia wo pe wo say ye bia ra. O nyame man wo ejira tu o nyakwa. Ah, we are pray for them. And that they change. And that the Holy Spirit visit them. And they be I'm born again or let them die let them die. look at them pray we are praying in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oh Jehovah Jehovah in the name of Jesus people of God listen we are still in prayer don't relent. Don't give up. We are praying. My brother, you have to see success. Woman, listen to me. You have to seek success. The Lord brought you into that country, that city, that state for a purpose. The Bible says, I know the thought I have for you. Not evil to give you a future and to give you success. And so God knows what he wants you to achieve. But there are many people, there are many people that their life is being fought and so you can see. I know I every day tell you, I know a cousin of mine from the same family, my father's family, who traveled from Ghana to America. This woman was not a sickler. Had, had yes, he had been to the hospital before, but he uh, she did not have any sickness. The day this woman left the shore of Ghana until she got to America, this woman became a, a sickler. She's, she was sick throughout her life. 11 years in America, she could not work until she died in the soil of America. There are some families. You don't know my family. A woman called me and told me, everybody in my mother's family, his life is being destroyed. Somebody also told me, my father's family, I know where I'm coming from. You sit down. There are some people they are sitting now, and after they have seen their failures and things that are not going back, they still giving excuses. Until you fail and die poorly in, in where the place before you realize we are praying back again. Let the tender locate them. Everybody who is, have guarded against you, there are some people who talk. Obia and Sambalat and Tobia, they were fighting that no, the war would never be built. There are some people, God bless you, woman of God, evangelist, rabbi, yours. Yeah. God bless you, mama, for your good work. The Lord is enlarging you everywhere. God bless you, mama. Also for governor, God bless you too. God bless you too. People of God, we are praying. You think that everything that you are doing, somebody is happy. I told you, I was preaching to that woman and I'm inviting the woman before me. She told the woman, don't go. She's going to start a church. Man, don't go. Don't go. I was just looking at her, uh, his face uh, before me. He told, he told the woman. And from that time, she, uh, this man cannot come closer to me. I say, hey, you are a Christian and I am a Christian. You go to church. I go to church. I am witnessing to somebody and I am inviting the person before me. She told the, the woman, don't go. And I, I called I call him a friend. I called this man a friend. I called him a friend. I called him a friend. I called him a man in the vineyard. My brother, my sister, there are many people, they are not happy about your success. That is why many people are failing. Wherever you are, you are failing. You see success, but you cannot attain it. You live in a land of opportunity. Uh, Paul said, the great door has been opened unto me, but there are many adversaries. God told the, the, the church of Philadelphia, I have set a door before you, and that door nobody can close. Understand that, yes, God has opened a door, but there are still many adversaries. If you don't hearken unto the Lord and you don't be obedient, then your, your life will cause that door to be shut. And so we are praying one more time. Pompa ye biem. Ye pompa ye biem. So for Kwabna Mama Evangelist Rabba say greetings. God bless you. God bless you, people of God. 
We are praying our last prayer. Let fire look at them. Every gathering. Remember the Bible says that they will gather together. God says it is not of me. But whoever gather against you will fall for your sake. And again the Bible says no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. You see remember this. That this way comes to people who are faithful and committed to the cause of Christ. It is not what you say, whether you like it or not, he is coming. You can, uh, that one you cannot deny. It's the same thing as death. You don't believe in death. You don't believe in uh, uh, No matter what you say, death will come and it will knock at your door. <laughs> the same thing that Jesus will come. And so we are praying every adversary of your life. Let fire look at it. Begin to release fire. Begin to release fire. We are releasing fire into the camp of the enemy. Somebody release fire. Release fire. Everywhere. Every gathering. From your family down to your friends. Down to everywhere. You have, don't have to see failure. You have to succeed. In your marriage. In your life. In your endeavor. Whatever you are doing. Woman, you have to succeed. Let success look at you. Yes, God told Joshua the secret. The secret is meditating, holding on to the word of God. If the word do not depart from your mouth and you hold on to definitely success will be your portion. Open your mouth and pray. We are praying in the power of the Holy Ghost. Open your mouth, every gathering, every Tobia and Sambalat. Let fire look at them. Let turn the back to the bone of Somebody pray. We are calling on the name of Jehovah. Let Jehovah answer. We are calling. Yes, God. Answer somebody open your mouth and pray. Pray Kabon Tata Brakan Diribe Rabba Bandarabo Shika Branda Zenderebe Riba Bandaraba Rika Toro Bonda Branda Zekolo da Brianama in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Let tender locate every adversary of your life. Let tender locate them. Let a wall of fire be built between you and them. Let the tender of Jehovah ram and drive them afar away from your tent of dwelling when you mean from kunim diem bro will be up will say you will be on power because will be on person but who know a brother and a jew and i'm sorry i'm okay you mean sorry if you and i'm sorry my cut up broke i enter him wrap up on that i'm on the rock i thought i'm on the brother wrap up up i hear god on the ball river boys they can't have run the wrap up on the plan that's a car on a real cut on a body remember on the bonded him Moshe kada branda, he can't turn around the branda. Moshe kada raba, he can't turn raba. Somebody pray, pray. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, he can't turn around the branda. In the name of Jesus, let's pray this last prayer, and we live. The Bible says He called things that were not as though they were, and the same power the Lord has given unto us. Remember. When after the creation, the Lord created man, he told man that subdue the earth and replenish the earth. And so you are going to call everything that belongs to you, every destiny helper, everything that the Lord has said concerning your life, let it come to pass. And so you are going to open every door by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Lord told the church of Philadelphia, yes, you have little strength, but you have not denied my name. And so I will never forsake you. And, and so, so long as you have not denied the Lord, let every door be open unto you. Let success, everything that has been delayed in your life, let today mark the beginning. And can know when you may not be a yeah, surprise Let today mark the beginning. Somebody, let's pray. Open your mouth and pray. We are praying that success will locate you. Success will locate you. Success, let success locate you everywhere. My brother, pray. Rabon Takan Tarabonda Branda. Rababon Tarabo Sheka Branda Zenderebe. Onyame Mau Hun and Nio Yamu Radima Mau and Nio Yamuate. Radima Mau Hun and Nio Yamu. Papa, visit your people, listeners on the radio, 
and through YouTube and also on the Facebook Papa visit your people show them your glory show them your glory open every door to them visit them forgive our sins and visit us every sin that will hinder your blessing hinder open heaven Father we pray for forgiveness open every door let God begin to open let God begin to open let God begin to open Riba banda raboshi kabranda zendere me. Riba banda raboshi kabrasa ndaraba. Ikoto na banda branda zika taraba. Papa pio ano pio ma fempre. Pray with us everywhere. Oh thank the Lord. My ikoto na ba. Let every door be open. We pray for your children. We pray for your husband. We pray for your wife. We pray for your mother. We pray for your father. We pray for your pastor. We pray for everyone. We pray for the presidents. We pray for everyone. The nation that you are. That the Lord will visit them. Every door of greatness. Every door that will bring people to the knowledge of the gospel. We pray. Help in heaven. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Rapa Panda Rabona Bra Cantiribe, and Tarabona Branda Ze Corona Briadaba, I can do the Bona Branda Ze. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, and I open every door, open every door, success in. In the life of your people, let every door be open. Let every door, let your people smile. As Hannah smiled, as Elizabeth smiled, as Sarah smiled, as Sadrach and Meshach and Abednego smiled, as Daniel smiled. Oh, Jehoshaphat smiled for the victory and success given to them. Let your people begin to smile. Open every door. Let them be a winners. Win every battle for them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, when you are my uncle, my dear, when you are my new promo, when you are my dear, you will never can you hear? Oh, Jesus Christ, oh demon, oh Jesus Christ, oh demon, in the name of Jesus, everywhere, every country, every land, may the Lord give the land to you, may success look at you. Rapa bande bonda branda, toto na branda zendere me, ikanto na bonda branda zekoro na bria na ba, in the name of. Jesus, what oh, yes, to Christ or demon, what oh, yes, to Christ or demon, what oh, yes, to Christ or demon, Rabba Pandere Bonda Bra, Catora Bonda Bra, Aya Catora Bonda Bra, Zendere, Econtora Bonda Bra. Father, we thank you, Lord, we bless you, we give you praise, we give you glory. Finally, let me pray this prayer. We are praying, my brother, my sister, one thing that is very painful that if the devil saw sickness in your life, there are some people. The enemy has reduced them. And so we are praying for people who need divine touch of healing. My brother, my sister, listen. If you ask God for forgiveness, I always tell you, and I'll continue to tell you, that where you cannot find God is where sin is. We strive towards perfection. Your heart and your spirit will determine how you want to strive towards perfection. And so if, if you live righteously before God, the heaven will be open. And so we are praying for everybody who need a touch of healing. We are commanding healing. The Bible says we will declare it in and it shall be established and light will go before. And so we are decreeing and declaring on your life that may the spirit of God touch you. Instead, healing, begin to pray. Today I have great men and women. I will suffer. Mama Rapa, you see women and men of God that are watching. We are all praying for the sick. We are praying for the sick everywhere. Those listening to us on the radio, those listening to us through the YouTube, and those who listen to us on the Facebook, may somebody receive a healing. Every disease, every bad sickness is in the blood. Cancer is in the blood. Every blood pressure, diabetes, every bad sickness is in the blood. We are praying healing. Holy Ghost touch. Holy Ghost, the Bible says we will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. Receive the touch of the Holy Ghost. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive healing, instant healing. That was Jesus Christ or demon. Your bumper, your man. When you're in finance, you're a real piara, you're a real piara. 
may you see healing in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus there is power wonder working power in the blood of the lamb the blood the blood the blood rock at the bond of Randa he can't tell him on the Randa he can't tell him somebody really see, receive healing in the name of Jesus in the blood of Jesus may the Lord bless you father we want to thank you God bless you God bless you people of God everywhere God bless you may you receive healing may the Lord open the heavens unto you and prosper you God willing will meet let me take this opportunity to thank great men and women that help us you see that this is how Christianity should be this is why Christianity so some men of God that are watching us on Sofu Kwabana and I saw four and great men and women, few other watching us of Granty Junior. This is how ministry to be. We help each other and to propagate the gospel. And we don't fight against ourselves. With all respect, God bless you. And God open the heavens unto you. I also thank God for everybody that is watching us. God bless you for watching us. And next time if you come on our line, just share for us and just hold it. I bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. I will show you now what we be. Ah, 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 